there and welcome back. I've been past a few days and I hope you didn't forget about me. So in the last video, just to recap a little bit, we did the uh, gimmick joints, the, the basic ones, and we ended up with this uh, character, with this rig. And today we will continue with the um, corrective plane shapes. But before, we need to um, prepare a little bit or scene to, to do these corrective plane shapes. And in this case, we need to prepare a little range of motion so it's easier to um, well to download track when you do the corrective lane shape and prepare some uh, specific poses to to help the process. So we're gonna do this on this first video. So let me quickly reset everything like this, and I'm just gonna move this uh, to. Okay, FK, and same thing for the uh, for the legs. So everything is in FK, so it's easier just to create rotations and to keep track of everything. Okay, so I'm just gonna save a version for this one. Okay, great. So now what I want to do is uh, create a little range of motion. So the first one, um, we can use the uh, synoptic. If I said, yeah, I didn't forget to set. So first one, we can uh, K all here. So everything will be um, the T standard reset pose. And just move one frame, frame two. Okay, I'm just gonna remove the GP override for the moment. Um, so I'm going here in animation and GP override. Well, I know that it's uh, caching some stuff on the GPU because the blue the change on the uh, on the geometry and obviously because here I have GP overwrite and say that it's caching something so I'm just gonna turn off this one and just oh nice so it's disabled and oh nice okay now it's going back and whoa I see a little bug here we will fix this first so what's what's going on hmm let me guess, I didn't put this in the right place. So technically this should be um, parent under this one. It is not. Hmm. First thing, check the guide. So the guide parent should be there. That's good. And the connector. It's uh, it's correct. Hmm. Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh no, it's not correct. One more. Just double check here. This is MS join the uh, two joints leg, but what I have here is um, the component. It's uh, two joint. So this one is not set to the correct connector. Okay, no problem. Just um, change the connector and um, here same thing. So edit this one and change the connector. We can symmetrize, delete and symmetrize if you want. So I'm just gonna save a new version. And because we did in the last video, the we can reimport the geometry. We can reimport or recreate the the plane shapes. Uh, the gimmick, sorry, and we can import the scheme pack. So yeah, that's no problem. Okay, we're just gonna get rid of this. Just gonna this probably is gonna complain that it's losing some data there. I mean the synoptic. And after I fix, just save another version. And yeah, I don't need this like this. And okay, just build again. So it's gonna import the skinning. I'm sorry, I import the this the mesh, not the skinning. Now it's building. No now it's importing the skinning. And now everything is back here. That's good. Just gonna hide my guide for the moment. E eventually we will export the guide, so we don't need to have it here and the scene, but for convenience we keep it here now 
and if I switch now to FK and move okay now that it's fixed we have the right connector for the right component so we can continue finally okay it didn't take too long to fix this one okay great uh back to the synaptic oh thank you welcome back i'm just gonna place it there and yeah frame one key all Okay, so we have what we need for the moment. So I I did the leg and I did some poses for the arm. Obviously we can do more. I also did one for the finger just to to put an example. I don't want to go over all the fingers because it's as you can get, guess it's a a little boring to do, but yeah, and I will do like a less one finger so you can see here we can how we can fix the shape on the on the finger and I did four poses so the first second and third one of the finger and then I did one that all three are together like pen 90 degrees so we can see the uh, the combination of all these and technically well we should repeat this for the rest of the fingers we can also use another technique like the uh, gimmick joints but uh, in this case um, yeah, because we want to see how to do the uh, corrective plane shape, we're gonna do that there. Uh, we have the wrist, two positions for the elbow. So the elbow, it's we can do that also. Like uh, I did on the, for instance, on the leg, I did only one position, but you can do some in betweens. So you ensure that the interpolation it's it's correct. We will see later. Probably for the leg, you want to bend it more than ninety degrees. So we want an extra uh, position, a little more. Uh, here like this so if it needs or something but yeah for the moment i think it's go gonna be enough for this so i'm gonna stop this video here i guess with the acceleration of the boring part it's gonna be not so long and see you in the next video bye bye